So Mark, you've been looking for love in Ukraine for how long? A few years, right? Be five years, just a bit over five years. Five years, okay. And, and ballpark, any idea you know, how much are you out of pocket on your journey? Uh, it'll be plus 40 grand, easy. 40,000 bucks plus. Yeah, unfortunately, Ouch, yeah. hey? It's, it's, a, it's a lot of money, yeah. yeah. Well, you know... To even, in one sense, be no further than I was in 2011. And you're no reality. further really now than you were in 2011. Literally, yeah, really. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you could do it all over again, you know, if you could start, rewind the very beginning, what lessons have you learned and what would you do differently on uh, your second I, go? I guess it's three things, really. No, number one, uh -huh. I wouldn't go on a group tour. Socials. Uh, wouldn't and social. I wouldn't go to any socials. Number okay. two. Uh -huh. Number three, I would look for a professional sincere and a genuine company trying to actually match you up with someone that actually is looking for a genuine lasting relationship mm -hmm. so not just a quick buck right, sort of right, thing right. thank you very much for agreeing to tell your story here today yeah, that's you know? all right. yeah because your story our hope is we'll help other guys avoid the landmines that you've yeah, not, triggered and hit along the way. Not get trapped. And not get, it, yeah, not lose a leg. It's almost like being on the Gold Coast going swimming and basically you've heard so many stories on the news sharks. of sharks. And that's always what it's like coming here. You know, and it's, yeah. some, some people come here in naivety. And I, I did too in 2011. Yeah. Pure naivety, yeah. not knowing almost of, of the... Um, of the traps, because uh, I guess I'm the sort of person who thinks, oh, it's okay, they're, they're meant to be a, a legitimate sort of business, you know, they, they got my interest at heart sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Or maybe not. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, yeah, exactly. So. What do you, first question, what do you think of the socials? Have you ever been on a social? And I, I've been on a few socials, that's uh -huh. true. In, uh -huh. in, the, in my first, um, when I first came in 2011. Would you like to share that experience? I guess for me, um, being in a room full of women was something I'd never seen before. Mm -hmm. So it was like, like you might see it in, 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 on TV or something, you know, it's not real. Well, a room full of gorgeous women. Yeah, yeah, and, I mean, and way and above the what you used to see. Right, of, out of yeah. your league kind of thing? Yeah, absolutely uh -huh. out of my league, I'll admit that. Call the spade a spade, right? Yeah. And, and what were the age of the women? Like, were they Mostly men? young women, really. Young. Really There's young? Like how, how, how old? What was the average age of woman, average age of man? The average age of a woman at a social, uh -huh. the vast majority would have been 20 to 28. 20 to 28. And the guys? And the guys, 45 and over uh -huh. to 64. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So at least a 20 plus age gap. At least, yeah, yes. Yeah. And what was your experience? Did you did you get lucky? Did I get lucky? <laughs> no, not really. No, not really. No. I'm a very suspicious person person by nature. Um, coming from uh, doing having done security and that sort of thing, so I'm very much aware of, aware of my surroundings. Mm -hmm. And I think I saw, I saw a lot of. I think ladies were really going on dates because they were getting financial gain out of it. To me, that became quite apparent within three, four days of being there. Mm -hmm. So this is after the social, and now you're going on dates. Yeah. Right, right, right. Any specific stories about that? Um, probably one date I went on with, which was out of the blue. Um, a lady, I got called up out of the blue on a Tuesday because I remember very clearly. Um, I went on a date with that person and the date ended up, it was an expensive bottle of wine, uh, uh, the meal was, ah, the, the meal itself wasn't expensive but, um, and the oyster ladies, they would always go off together. Not, the translator and, and your date? Uh, yeah, not one go one direction to their home or whatever, another, but they would always go off together. Okay. And after a few days, me being who I am, and me being very, very observant, 
I thought, well, why are they always going off together? Uh-huh. You know, you've just paid, paid your 20 bucks translation hourly rate, and, um, and I, I got this suspicion to think, I think really they're divvying up the money sort of thing, mm-hmm. and then sort of doing whatever. And what about off camera? You were telling me you had an experience with one translator making a suggestion to you on a date. I, I was. It was after my first social in Odessa. Um, this uh, I met uh, this lady and um, her um, translator, and they were. Um, we'd had dinner, and we we're going for a walk, and. Um, she was looking at shoes, and she um, she liked this particular um, shoe. It's better a boot kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And this translator, he goes, "Oh, she really likes those pair of shoes. Um, can you buy them for her? Um, it'd be a ni- nice a nice gift for her." And I kind of felt a bit um, mentally um, coerced into doing so, sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Like she, you felt pressured. Yeah, by, 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 the by the translator, I felt mentally pressured by him. And mm-hmm. um, looking back, I just should have told him, just, just a, no, no, sorry, I don't owe that to that woman at all. Yeah, I yeah, bought, I paid for the meal, you know, I'd done the right thing and um, tried to be a gentleman and everything mm-hmm. like that, you know. And so and I you felt that was a little bit over and above. Yeah. Definitely for a first date. She wasn't my girlfriend or anything. Yeah, yeah. You know? And the good girl, actually, if you go to give a, a gift of that price uh, point, they feel that you're trying to buy their, their affections, buy their love, buy their attention. And they don't like that. The good girl. They don't like that at all. I mean, often good girls, well, you just went on a date, you were telling me she uh, refused cab fare. Yeah, exactly. I, I was very happy to pay for it to get a cab home yeah. sort of thing, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and you see the difference between the good girl now contrasted to uh, an opportunist. It's, it's, it's like a da- yeah. night and day sort of night thing, day. really. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the good girl, very humble, very modest, and um, like you just experienced. Uh, so that that's just a classic example of what you just went through, that story you told us about, mm. of, you know, a scam in action, you know, the, the translator and the date in cahoots. You know, translator actually tries to get you to spend money, and they're, they're doing some side deal. You can, you can bet on that. Well, yeah, well, I, I did buy those boots. Um because I felt pressured into doing it, so... Um, yeah. Yeah. And what advice would you give to Western men about socials? i just tell them, really, don't go. Okay. F- find, find a genuine matchmaking company. Mm-hmm. If you're there to find genuine love, you don't need to go into a room full of women sort of thing. Mm-hmm. Which are financially incentivized to be there? Yeah, I, I kind of think it's probably because you're paying that big money for those things, I think each woman is paid to be there at that social anyway. Yeah. That just, um, you add two and two together sort of thing. Yeah. But no, I think a man really should, if he's looking for genuine love, he needs to find a matchmaker where they're helping him with different ladies' personalities that match his personality Mm -hmm. and then you're going to have more opportunity to have a, mm-hmm. a real relationship. Uh, at a set of social, I don't think you're really going to find a real relationship. Just um, evening meals and nothing more than that. Mark, what would you say is like your worst nightmare situation that's happened to you in, in your six years looking for love in U- U- Ukraine? The worst. The worst. Probably trying to go on a, uh, a romance tour back to Ukraine in 2012 with what I thought would be uh, a, an agency um, through, through my own countrymen in Australia. Huh? But it, it ended up being just a scam from start to finish. From the whole, um, I mean, from him just stealing profiles to put on his own website. Um, to him trying to control me when I was on the ground there in Kharkov, telling me what I can and can't do, and what time I had to go back to my apartment. Uh, just, and then me understanding that 
women that you were writing to were probably not even getting the letters that the actual translators were writing the letters so they could mm -hmm. um, earn their money sort of for the month. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Nasty, what that set you back? That set me back? Well that was the six thousand dollars for the tour, mm -hmm. but then plus my airfare. Yeah, of course. So um, and then plus money um, for the dates. That, that sort adds of thing. up. Yeah, so that adds up quickly. Mm -hmm. So, any specific uh, stories with the dates you went on with that uh, outfit? Um, they they were trying to tell me who I should marry, sort of thing. Hmm. Um, Is it a big outfit? No, it's just a small outfit, sort of thing. Um, but yeah, it was just, um, yeah, unfortunately it was just one, one life from the beginning to the, to the end, really. Okay. Well, how does that contrast, if I may ask you, from the dates you've had so far with us with Match Guarantee? Oh, uh, well, see, that's, that's, that's where it becomes night and day sort of thing. Because um, now, because I have an, an actual genuine matchmaker, and I mean a genuine in every sense of the, what the word means, you know, mm -hmm. that's looking after my interest, and trying to match me with women that actually s suit my sort of um, personality, um, and I suit theirs. There's just um, there's no, no there's no scamming involved. There's it's just um, it's more natural how it kind of should be, really. Mm -hmm. Feels like I, I don't have to feel like oh well, you know we're. <laughs> How much is this going to cost me or something like that? Or right. Feels like a natural next? date. Yeah. Like a natural date. Yeah. You meet you meet a girl in, uh, in in the office, and then you go for a walk, go for coffee. Yeah. 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 So how uh, you've had? Let's see. What was it? Five dates now. Uh, Thursday. Day one. Saturday. Five. Yeah, five dates. Yeah, yeah. And how, how, maybe, how do the dates go? How do you feel about the girl? Like, well, your first date. <laughs> you accused me of throwing you under the bus. Well, oh, you, you did almost. <laughs> yeah, I you know, you know, you know. Yeah, you, we walked in to the office and your date showed up and we all dropped our jaw down because, well, uh, well des wow. describe her for us. Uh, this Maria, woman, right? Mar Maria, yeah. she, she belonged on the catwalk. There's no question about that. Yeah. She was obviously, she was a bit taller than me. She was... Um, well, and she was wearing stilettos, And basically. she was wearing eight-inch high heels, too. And she just looked like a, a million dollars. She looked like a, a, a Hollywood wife or something like that you'd see on TV, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, but behind all that amazing beauty was a personality that was just... 100% genuine, you know. Yeah. You went out with her, you had a good time. She, I had a, good, a nice chat with her. We had, a, a, we had things in common as well. And, and there was just, it, it, it felt normal, you know. That uh -huh. I didn't have to sort of worry about what, what's coming next or, yeah. you know. And, and her English wasn't, wasn't that good, but it was good enough to sort of have a conversation. And she was just looking for a genuine guy to have a... a a, a good relationship where, where she could share the sort of the happiness and, and the burdens of life kind of mm -hmm. thing, instead of having to carry the whole, mm -hmm. the whole thing by herself sort of thing, trying to run the business and and bring her daughter up and, and all that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. So all by herself, yeah, because she runs her own business. You said thirty yeah. employees. Yeah, thirty-two yeah. employees. So she's, you know, a smart cookie. She's got a very smart on. cookie. Yeah. yeah. So and and what what kind of. Uh, Tips were in that date that you uh, you got the feeling that she's she's at some level interested in you. Well, a woman's asking for my phone number, and that rarely happens, I guess. <laughs> so yeah, that 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 shocked me even a little. Yeah, she asked you for your number. Yeah, yeah. You guys have connected on Viber. We've connected on Viber, and yeah. and she's on a holiday in Rome, which um, her daughter's got a competition there as well, so yeah. her daughter is amazing too, yeah, you know. Top Ukrainian gymnast. Top Ukrainian gymnast at eight years of age. Yeah. And she's Terrible. been competition in America and won there. She's got over 60 gold medals as well yeah. in the years that her daughter's been doing the um, yeah. the uh, Olympic gymnastics um, yeah. routine. It's just amazing. just amazing, you know. And 
And if you don't mean, mind me saying, yeah, um, yeah. you know, she, Maria, called Tatiana the next day and said, Mark is a really great guy, you know, right? Um, if you don't mind sharing this on camera. But how you know the girl's genuine, right? She called Tatiana, our match, our head matchmaker, and said, Mark's a great guy, but I did, and, and I really like him as a person, but I didn't feel that spark, that connection. So she was just forthright. So you're not led down the garden path, right? So you, you, you know you're not hopeful uh, of, of something really developing there uh, in the future, right? So you go on other dates, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's very big of a Ukrainian woman because in this culture, they don't like to let the guy down. They don't like to insult or hurt anybody, you know. Uh, so just thought I'd point that out, that that was actually very nice of her. Uh, and it sets you up for, you know, to be open for further dates, right? For hmm. opportunity. Yeah. Exactly right. Um, but we'd probably just stay friends or something yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly. Share exactly. business sort of talks or whatever. And yeah, yeah that's okay. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, it's okay. You know where you stand at least, yeah. right? You're not being... Uh, led around like a puppy dog. Why? Yeah, because she's she's uh, you know she 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 wanted to go out with you, and you guys went out, and she's uh, you know uh, drop dead gorgeous. <laughs> and, oh, and, but thirty and, out of ten, yeah, you know I mean? yeah, just... yeah, yeah. And but the thing is that I'm trying to impress upon clients that. What are the signs that it's a good girl versus an opportunist, the bad girl? And these are some of the signs. Oh, the in reality, right? you look at it, she could have strung me along for a couple of weeks or whatever, you know, taken shopping or whatever sort of thing. She did none of that, you know. Right, so just... the reason she's obviously a good girl is she said, oh, there's no spark. But obviously we could still probably stay friends. Mm -hmm. She didn't string me along or anything like that. Mm -hmm. um, and I totally understand she's actually looking for a genuine relationship sort of thing. Which is nice. You get a feeling for who our ladies are and it gives you uh, hope for your next dates, right? So exactly. maybe share a little bit of your other dates, if you might. And, and, and what feelings are you getting from it? And how, how do you know, okay, this girl, you don't have a spark, she doesn't have a spark. Uh, maybe just share some of your experiences to give the guys some advice. Um, well, probably most of my dates have had uh, translation because of the language um, barrier, but yeah. you know, that's, that's to be expected. <laughs> We're not in Australia or in Thailand or anything, so yeah. Um, yeah. yeah, so the dates have been good. I think they've been um, what dates kind of should be, you know what I mean? There's no, there's no hidden agenda sort of thing, mm. like unfortunately I've experienced too much of sort of in my years gone past. So because there's no underlying or hidden agenda, it could be more of a normal, natural sort of date sort of thing. Mm -hmm. So if there's a spark there, there's something there. If not, it's okay sort of thing. So how do you know um, if there's a spark? Do you feel it or what? How, what? What tips, what advice can you give about that? How does a guy know? These ladies are hard to read, right? They are, but I, I think today, for me, as an example of uh, Juliana, uh, we were talking, even though through translator, quite well. Um, she was sort of touching me sort of thing and yeah? um, we held hands a bit towards the end and um, Wow. And she said, oh, well, let's, <laughs> let, let, let's, let's that's, um, that's go to the river with the boat sort of thing tomorrow sort of thing oh, and after she oh, finished oh, work. Oh, and yeah. yeah. That's she a showed trip. me a picture of her kids and that sort of thing but yeah. they're with her parents in the countryside at the moment. Mm -hmm. um, she obviously works very hard like they do here, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, she she wants to meet again and sort of um, yeah. So obviously you you've got you've got signs you've got a little bit signs of affection yeah uh, positive feedback that she's into you yeah. Uh -huh. But I must say that's a little unusual for touching and hand holding on the first date. Uh, so, but that doesn't mean doesn't mean anything if she's doing it. It's 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 natural. It's, it's authentic, but a lot of Ukrainian ladies um, prefer not to be touchy-feely or any physical contact on the first, second, third date even. My Natasha, it took me a month to hold her hand. Yeah, 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 no, that's okay. <laughs> yeah, but every, every lady has her own pace, mm. and uh, that's fantastic. So that's clearly a girl that's into you. So you're going to take her out again, go on the, the boat on the Napper? Uh, some river. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm not sure what yeah. river it even Tomorrow. was. Yeah, I mean, it's... But I just thought, well, that's a really good idea. Yeah. That's a bit sort of romantic sort of um, yeah. 
That's her thing. You'll love it. They have dancing on there. Yeah, right. I love it. Beautiful. But yeah, we, went, we still went for a very good walk today and through the old part of um, the centre here sort of thing, which, I mean, I haven't even seen it, so. Yeah, yeah. Um, awesome. But yeah, we just, we had a uh, coffee. Um, but yeah, just, it's all about just walking and talking sort of thing. It was a very, it was a good sort of casual sort of first date, you know. Mm -hmm. um, there's no sort of... Um, whipping up expensive meals or anything like that sort of thing and it was just um it was good just walk in the in the fresh air taxi was just a hundred grievance sort of thing i, I didn't have a hundred grievance on me i only had a two hundred grievance at the huh. night so i don't want to give that to her you know yeah, yeah she can go and buy some milk or whatever tomorrow or whatever yeah. or um yeah. brekkie or yeah. she can buy lunch on, on tomorrow sure, or something sure. you know sure, sure. well what's she... 200 grievance it's not yeah. really anything is it yeah yeah and and you uh, did she ask you for it or did you offer it oh i wanted to pay you know yeah. because it's late at night yeah. even our translator she, she didn't, didn't even want it most translators that are dodgy want money for taxi too to yeah. go home yeah 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 and and guys should know that uh you know they're expected to be gentlemen in Ukraine. So you're, yeah. you're absolutely expected to pay for dinner. You're expected to uh, take care of her taxi ride home. You know, that's, that's expected. If you don't offer it up, it's, uh, it's, it's a notch against you. Uh, so it's good that you offered up to put her in a taxi center home. Yeah, it's yeah. the gentlemanly thing to do. So you always want to do that. But, but she didn't ask for it. You offered it. No, she didn't ask for it. Yeah. I, I, yeah. I just thought, well, you know, it's, it doesn't matter what time of day it is, really. Yeah. It's if you um, care for the person anyway, um, then you'd want them to get safely home, sort of thing, you yeah. know? Because yeah. they've, they've made the effort to come and meet you, sort Absolutely. of thing. Um, very, the very least you can do is pay for them to get home safely, yeah, you know what I mean? Absolutely. Yeah. So, yeah. Truth be told, um, men are you know, expected to be the gentleman in Ukraine. And mm. if you're not, uh, and you go on dates, the dates look very negatively upon you, right? So if you don't show up with flowers and or chocolates, like one or three white, yellow roses, you know, pink I went roses. Oh, pink fruit. Pink? Pink is the good. Pink is good. Pink, pink is with, good. with the dark dark pink. Um, yeah. So I've... Actually, all the flowers that I bought have been actually in the pink area. Oh, pink, good. No yeah. white. Yeah, white and pink are both great. So you got to open the door for the for the yeah. lady, right? Pay for taxi, pay for dinner, be a gentleman. Right? Yeah, Chivalry it's not hard. So but no, it's not hard. But a lot of a lot of guys, because in the West, you know, we're emasculated a lot by the ladies. You mm. know, um, so guys have stopped being gentlemen. Uh, a lot of guys, not all guys. So mm -hmm. here, guys just really need to know that you really need to do that. Otherwise, you you can blow your first date. She doesn't even want to see you because you weren't a gentleman. Yeah. 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 How how do you know when you're on a date with the Ukrainian lady? How do you know if she's an opportunist and she's really not into you, you know, versus she's a sincere girl that's really looking for a man for a lasting relationship and hopefully it ends in love and marriage and family. How, how do you tell, what tips do you have for the Western man? How, what clues can you give him how he might be able to uh, tell the difference? There is, there is a few signs. If she will only meet you with a translator mm -hmm. and never ever outside even for an hour, then she's just doing it because she's getting that translating money as well to help pay for her living sort of thing. Yeah, the, trans um, the classic so translator she is, scam. she is not looking for a relationship at yeah. all. Yeah. The translator gets it. Uh, and the other thing is, mm -hmm. with, with, and if you've got a 20 year age gap and she's young, really she's, she's not going to be looking for a, a relationship with a a person that's her father's age. Uh -huh. It's just not 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 really gonna happen. It's an industry you know? brainwashing fallacy, isn't it? Really? Uh, unfortunately it really is, you know? Yeah. Yeah. The industry has set up and brainwashed the Western man to think by these fake profiles of a girl that's thirty saying, Yeah, I want to meet a man up to maximum age sixty five. Complete BS, right? It is. I I could show you one profile right now. You go onto her friends friends page. She's got over a thousand friends on her friends page mm -hmm. on Facebook. On Facebook. Mm -hmm. yeah. I just saw it just just last week. Yeah. 
Okay, so, that's, yeah. that's a great tip. Yeah, and, and just to finish And she's off. young. She's uh, 20 years old. Yeah. Yeah, and she's got her profile up to 65 years old. Yeah. Uh, come on. It's just a girl looking to make some money, right? Yeah, absolutely, for sure. Mark, any other tips uh, that you've learned over the years to help other dudes keep them out of trouble? I think really at the end of the day, um, this paying per letter system that um, the, the, all these sites are just about got, yeah. it's, just, it's just a total scam really. Yeah. You, can, you can write letters to your blue in the face to AnastasiaDate.com and Dream Marriage or LoveMe.com and you, you're there forever and a day really, not, not getting anywhere. Yeah, so you, you did that really, a bit, did you? I, I did that way too much, really, to be honest with you. And it can, it's like a drug. It can suck you in and suck you in and suck you in sort of thing. Yeah. You know, and, and if you're looking carefully at what some of these written in some of these letters, um, yeah, just it's just it's really just no go zone if you're really looking for mm -hmm. the real thing. Mm -hmm. I think at the end of the day, you've got to find a, a proper, genuine matchmaker in Ukraine, yeah. and just avoid all these big sites. Yeah, we'll don't go on any of them. Yeah. Save your money. Come to Ukraine, right? Come to Ukraine. Come meet real women. And meet real women that are not, not on any of these sites whatsoever. Mm -hmm. So. Good tip. Good tip. Yeah. Any um, specific stories you have around this? I mean, I'll, I'll give you one example where okay. I went on a date with this woman when I was in my first um, mm -hmm. uh, Anastasia date um, tour in Odessa, and, and the night was coming to a close. And I liked it because she she had a nice personality. She was um, of good sort of what I call good relationship age where she had some life experience behind her, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, um, and that would help, so a girl with a life experience would help to have a good good marriage sort of thing, a good stable, strong relationship. Yeah, good because potential. You can, what, how much of an age difference between you? There was only like four years difference between okay. us, okay. you know what I mean? Okay. Okay. So when you've got something like that, you know, you, you can both bring something each to the relationship yeah. that you've learned in your years gone by sort of thing, you yeah. know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, close in age, same generation, yeah. yeah. And uh, sort of I asked her for an email address or um, a point of contact. She goes, oh, no, no, just send, keep sending me letters through AnastasiaDate.com mm -hmm. through the website. And, um, yeah, that unfortunately told me all I needed to know. Yeah, that's pretty conclusive, isn't it? So, yeah, I keep paying to talk to me. Yeah. I just took just, you out on a date. Was that one date? Only one date? That was just one date, but that's all I needed to know that's in good. one sense. <laughs> once bitten, twice shy, yeah. yeah Only once. Yeah, yeah. Mark, thanks very much for talking to me today. No, that's okay. It's, it's been you've, fun and my pleasure, really. It, it, it has been, and I'm sure you've helped a few guys out there dodge a bullet or two uh, based on I hope your so, experience. because at, at the end of the day, it's just full of landmines, you know? It's, you probably stand a better chance of going to surf as paradise and swimming in the sea with the sharks. You lose a lot less money anyway. Yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, no, sure. I'd, I'd like to thank you and, and Tatiana at Match Guarantee um, for, for being genuine sort of thing and showing me the huge difference between having really no chance of meeting anybody to actually having a, a, a more um, higher degree of meeting someone for a genuine, genuine relationship. You're very welcome. So um, if it wasn't for me to see your YouTube videos, I wouldn't be sitting here today. I'd, I'd probably be, be weeks or months away stepping into my next um, next um, problem area sort of thing. You'd be this... wrenching a car back home. Yeah, well, I'm not, <laughs> well I'd be doing that too, but um, <laughs> I'd be walking into another trap sort of thing because it's it's just way too many traps out there. Yeah. You know? But you know, to your credit, you're you're uh, tenacious, right? You don't give up. No. Yeah, you're no. the kind of guy that gets the girl, the guy that doesn't give up, because there are amazing real women here. You don't need to shop in fantasy land. No, right? that's two young yeah. women and and uh, you know, trophy wives. You you don't need that. The women, the natural women that want to meet a good foreigner for love, connection, and marriage, they're amazing, aren't they? Absolutely. Yeah. So now that you're in what we call your zone of success, you know, you're age appropriate, looking for ladies. Yeah, I, th that I think that's an important thing to have a, a be. If you live in fantasy land, at the end of the day, you're just going to go home alone. 
really. And, and yep. you, you might as well not even bother coming here. You might as well just go to Thailand or something if you want to live in fantasy land or, yeah. or the Bahamas or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the best case, going home alone. You're going to go home uh, scammed and alone. Well, alone with an empty wallet, yeah. guaranteed. Exactly, exactly. So, um, yeah. Well, yeah. yeah, thanks again, Mark. No, no problem at all. It's, it's definitely my pleasure, it really is. <laughs>